getting ready to record a Skype interview that I may either want to take the audio and video from and publish as maybe a podcast episode or a YouTube video or maybe a lesson in one of my courses and or I might want to release it as just an audio episode as a podcast or a lesson or some type of resource on my blog. But before I call the person that I'm going to interview, which is Bunny White, I have a few setup things that I want to do. Okay, so when I open Skype, because I have Call Recorder installed, this is going to naturally pop up. I'm not in the middle of a call right now, so it's not giving me the option to press record. But let's do a few things before we even get to that level. First off, in Skype, I'm going to come up here to Skype and go to Preferences. And what I'm going to do is check on my audio and video. Hi! There I am. So what I want to do is make sure, right now it says the microphone is my, my Logitech C920. I might want to change that to be the built-in microphone or the USB microphone that I ho have hooked up right next to me, depending on what I'm recording. Right now I'm going to change it to the built-in microphone instead of my C920, which is my webcam. But then I'm going to also work on what's the camera. So right now it says it's the FaceTime HD camera, which is the one on my computer. But I might want to switch this to be my Logitech cam, which gives me better picture. So as soon as I have that selected, I can actually exit out of here. And then there's one more thing I want to do as I prepare before I call Bunny. So I'm going to come over here to Call Recorder and press Settings. And then you'll notice this is actually the same settings menu as before. So what it does is just adds an extra little setting on to your Skype preferences. So I'm going to do a few things here. I'm going to have my video image size personally on the biggest one available. And I'm going to switch my video quality to high. I have a pretty fast internet connection and I think that it can pick up really good video quality. And then I'm going to, the, probably the most important thing to me and the way I edit videos is that I'm going to tell Call Recorder that I want to record the video as a multi-track. So that means that I'm actually going to have two video files. I'm going to have one of the person that I'm recording full screen, which is Bunny in this case, and I'm going to have one of myself full screen, which is going to allow me to do a few different cool little editing things during the editing process. You can also do picture in picture where you're going to appear as a small little video file picture within the larger one with your guest on it, or you can do split screen where it just gives you both half of the screen. So you and you can even do audio only as far as what you're recording. That is what I'm gonna leave it set as a multi-track recording. And you can see here that you um, can just leave that you always want call recorder to show the recording controls at launch, which allows you to, you know, come in here and have it maybe on the side, get it ready for whenever it is that you're going to press record on the call. And then you can also just set it to record calls automatically if you want to. I always like to let the person know that we're about to start recording so I don't have it set to automatic. And then where do you want to save recordings to? So you can set this. I have a folder on my desktop that it saves into so that I know where to access them after I'm done with the recording. Okay, let's get started with the recording, talking to Benny, and then showing you how to actually use the call recorder. All right, so Bunny is online. I know I can give her a call now. You'll probably have obviously established a call time with your person beforehand. And once you see they're online, you can even type them a message and say, hey, is it cool if I call now? Even if it's you know something that you guys have pre-scheduled. So once you know that it's cool to call them, I'm gonna go ahead and instead of press this one that just has the phone symbol, I'm gonna press the one that says video call. Hey, Bunny, are you there? Can you hear me? Can you see me? I can hear you. I can see you. It's all good. Yay. Okay. So just so you guys know, you might want to do something like just have a few minutes conversation with the person that you're about to interview before you get started. Obviously remind them that you're about to create a recording of this so that they know when you start recording. You might want to just have your small talk and say something like, hey, Bunny. I know I told you this already, but we should be recording for about 30 minutes and I just wanted to find out from you, other than the questions I already sent you, is there anything special you want us to address during the call? Uh, you know, really what you sent me was pretty awesome. I looked over it, it looks great, so I think I'm good to go. Yay, okay, well just so you know, I'm about to start recording. It's gonna be recording video and audio and afterwards I will be able to edit, edit it and I'll let you know when our episode is gonna be out, okay? All right, so let me just double check all my settings are fine. Okay, and now I am pressing the record button. 
check, check. So I'm just going to check the sound. Bunny, will you talk too? Yeah, sure. No problem. All I right. am Bunny and I'm in Austin. What? <laughs> okay. Looks like we're getting good audio and video. So Bunny, tell me about, and keep in mind guys, I'll be able to edit out these parts afterwards if I maybe made a mistake or introduced her incorrectly the first time and needed to start again, I'll be able to edit. So Bunny. You know what? Hey, this is a really good thing that is happening right now. My video is going super slow and it looks like it's creating, um, might create a problem when I'm creating my uh, video. So I'm going to change the video quality to normal. This will, this setting will take effect for the next recording. Okay. So I'm going to press start new recording now. I've never had this problem. So it's cool to have this. Okay. So I just started the new recording and it looks like it's on sync. It's in sync on time. Okay. That's an awesome problem to have on screen so that everyone can be prepared just in case that might happen. So anyway, Bunny, thank you for being so patient with me. We now have it working for real. All right. <clears throat> so, Hey everyone, as I promised, we have a super duper excellent. Oh my gosh. So exciting guest on the show today. Her name is Bunny White and she runs an amazing brand called Violet Crown Masterminds. And she actually does a ton of interviews herself. So she's normally on the other end of this. And I'm so excited to be able to talk to her today, <clears throat> excuse me, and ask a ton of good questions. So Bunny, if you don't mind, will you just introduce yourself and tell everyone a little bit about what you do? Awesome. I, I agree with you so much. That's exactly right. There is literally no such thing as I did this on my own on an island with no help. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> so, Hey, um, all right, you guys we will pause here. So obviously Betty and I would continue the interview, have a lot of great questions. And then towards the end, I would simply like sign off like, Hey Bunny, thank you so much for taking the time out to be with us today. I know everyone who listens to the podcast is going to be so excited to meet you and hear about that new project you have going on. So thank you, Bunny. Thank you so much. It's been fantastic. Yay. So then you guys, I would press stop recording and keep in mind that probably would have been a lot longer than the two minutes that we recorded, but after we hang up here with Bunny and you might want to just thank your guests, let them know more details about when you'll be done editing it, all of that. After we hang up here, I'm going to show you where it dumped the files and how to edit them. So Bunny, thanks for helping us. Hi, bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So I have call recorder dump all of my video files into a saved calls folder on my desktop. So what I've done is I've created a new project in Camtasia by going to file new project and you might be using different editing software than this and that's fine, but it's going to be a very similar process. So the first thing I'm going to do is import media and I'm going to import the file that I need that I just created with bunny during the interview. So I'm going to press import and right now it looks like it's just one file, but what I'm going to do is drag it down to my track here and you see as I do that, that it actually has created two separate files here or two separate tracks and something I'll get into in just a second is that it's really kind of four separate things because there is audio of bunny and video of bunny and there's audio of me and video of me and I can actually separate all of these things. So the first thing I would do in editing is figure out how do I want everyone to appear? Do I want for myself to appear on screen when I'm the one who's talking and bunny to appear when she's the one who's talking? Do I want to be a picture within a picture because I recorded and created two separate files with call recorder? All of these are options to me. So let me show you what I mean at first. What I can do is I'm going to actually move my file. Whichever track is on top is the one that's showing. So I'm going to move my file on top of bunnies really quickly so I can show you some cool stuff. Okay. So now that my file is on top and I'm full screen, I'm going to fast forward my little cursor to the place I stop talking and bunny starts talking, which is shown by the fact that her soundtrack seems to come on at that point. 
and I'm going to cut both files. So I'm going to select both and I'm going to press Command T on my Mac. But I could have also come up here and press Edit Split Selection at Playhead, which you have to be at a non-split place to do that. So Edit Split Selection at Playhead. And then what I'm going to do is now switch the order of the files when Bunny's the one talking. So we'll move her on top. And because of the way I was recording the interview with my ATR2100 mic, a separate desktop mic, it means that even while Bunny was talking and we were picking up her audio, my audio was still going and picking up a separate file of her speaking. And basically, this means that this audio file is going to be low quality and this one is going to be higher quality because it was coming directly from her computer and her input system. So what I'm going to do on this bottom file, which is me and my audio, is I'm going to press edit and then I'm going to say separate audio and video. And then what I'm going to do is fast forward until Bunny is done talking and you might actually want to play it and make sure that's the place. And then I'm going to split all of the files remaining. So Command T, I selected them all and press Command T. And then I'm gonna leave Bunny's video and audio, but I'm gonna delete my audio. And I'm gonna leave my video for now because something I might wanna do while Bunny's talking. So right now I'm talking. And then Bunny starts responding. What I might wanna do is pull my video file on top and make it smaller, do picture in picture. So I'm just going to click on a top part here and drag it down and do this. And then I accidentally moved this file, so I'm gonna make sure it lines up. So now it will look like this. So if I want to continue to do that, that would be the process. The idea is whatever video file is on top is going to be the screen that is showing. In my instance of the beginning of this, this interview, I just have my file on top and I don't have Bunny as a picture in picture. I would want to do the whole interview in the same style. So it's either going to be me and then her, me and then her, or it's going to be, you know, my picture in hers if she's the one talking or her picture in mine if I'm the one talking or I might do as I did for a recent interview with my friend Chaitra and I might leave her front and center the whole time because I was sick when I interviewed her and I didn't like the way I was looking so I left her as the main thing even when I was the one talking and granted as the interviewer I'm not doing most of the talking I'm letting the person who is being interviewed do most of the talking. So I'm gonna actually take you back to this interview in just a second so I can show you some cool things, but let's continue to play around with the one with Bunny. So just so you get the basics again, whichever video file is on top is the one that is showing. And if you want two to be showing at one time, you would either have to make them both half of the screen or something like that, or maybe do as I've done here, which is make one a picture within the larger picture. Another thing to keep in mind is that you can separate audio and video when you want to maybe delete an audio file that's not going to be as quality or for example if you actually look at this interview i did with chaitra i actually created all four separate files i have my audio my video and then chaitra's audio and chaitra's video and the reason i did that was so that i could literally delete every single piece of audio when i wasn't talking because i was using kind of a low quality input source for my audio which means that if I had left my audio track going the whole time, which would have been this, this line filled in, that while Chaitra was talking, there would have been a low key kind of not static, but less than quality sound going on. So you'll notice that I'm talking. And as soon as Chaitra starts talking, I've now deleted my audio file. So all you see is Chaitra's video, you hear Chaitra's audio, you see my video, which is a smaller portion, and you don't hear any audio from me. But what I did was anytime I responded and said, yeah, good point, I would actually leave that audio in there. So you wouldn't see a head talking and moving its mouth without hearing any noise. But as soon as my comment was done, I deleted my audio file again to not be distracting. Now keep in mind too, in editing, you can add actual other types of files. 
like for example images so i created some nice slides that would let people know gives people some more context through the throughout the interview so the interview starts by introducing what it's all about and then we get into actually talking and introducing chaitra and then i do another screen about where you can find her so you'll see definitely throughout the interview that i do t tons of screens or maybe even screencast video to show something about her brand or make a point. If I'm talking about her beautiful Instagram account, I might show pictures of that, or I have other slides throughout with quotables, tweetables, uh, and again, you know, showing her, her different brand elements and stuff like that. And so if after an interview you want to do something like add screencasts of the person's brand or their product, all you would do is actually create another file. So you would open your recorder, select that you want to do a full screen video. You probably wouldn't have your audio turned on if you are really just overlaying this on top of an interview or audio that's already happening. But if you're wanting to record audio on it, you would leave that on. I'm going to turn it off and then you would press record. And now this is going to start recording your entire screen. So you could roll through their Instagram or whatever it is that's applicable to your interview. So that's how you would get another screencast within this file that already has tons of video files in it. So that's how I did this interview, which was by just leaving myself as the small picture within the picture, the entire interview, except for when I have different screens on. So this is just another like image or another video layer on top of all the video layers. So they're still there. All the audio and video is still there, but this is on top. So that's what you're seeing and whatever audio is going on is what you're hearing. So right now this is a point where Chaitra is talking and I'm showing people her awesome Instagram. Email list were probably the main things, uh, but also when... So that's an idea of how you would start a video recording in Skype, that's an interview, then how you would take those files, import them into your video editing software of your choice, and then maybe split up the files uh, by splitting up the two files, but then also maybe splitting up the audio and video on those two files. So now you have four files, which allows you to really modify things and move things around. And again, you could choose a different style. I could have totally decided to make myself full screen in this moment because maybe I'm making a really good point. So I would move this down, take it to the corner and then move myself full screen. And obviously I look really ridiculous in this shot, but you get the point. I could have to totally chosen to do the interview like that, but I preferred the picture in picture style so that the focus could be on Chaitra and not necessarily so much on my sick voice or the way I was looking that day. So you can always switch it up based on your preferences and what your audience needs. So I hope that gave you a good overview and that you go forth and create amazing epic interviews. Mm -hmm.